read the question first read the question sir case let take one minute and read the question every case let listen carefully sir answer the question on the basis of the information given below the following cumulative bar graph it is a cumulative bar graph the following cumulative bar graph shows the details of the run scoring pattern it shows the details of the run scoring pattern of four indian batsmen who are that four indian batsmen one is dhoni another is sachin another is kohli and another is sharma there are four indian batsmen dhoni sachin kohli and sharma and it shows the run scoring pattern of a four indian batsmen in a 2020 match against england in which runs were scored only in singles fours and sixers this is the first key point runs were scored only in singles fours and sixers so there are three values given singles fours and sixers singles is blue color four c is red color and six c is yellow color runs were scored only in singles fours and sixers it shows the percentage of total runs it shows the percentage of total runs scored by the mentioned batsman in singles fours and six so percentage is given i'll come back to this point let me actually find read the question carefully step by step then i'll solve the problem the total score of the indian team the total score of the indian team was the sum of the scores of this batsman only very very important point the total score of the indian team was the sum of the score of this batsman only what do you mean by this batsman here it is nothing but the score of dhoni sachin kohli and sharma or in other words there neither any batsman scored any runs nor the england team conceded any extras so there is a t20 match that is happening bet between india and england in india there are four players dhoni sachin kohli and sharma they will score runs only in singles fours and sixers and a cumulative bar graph is given which shows the percentage of total runs England team did not give any extras and there are only four batsmen who has scored i hope the question is clear sir now first listen forget about how much sharma has scored in the match first of all let me first understand the question every case let is beautifully chosen sir so that the students way of looking at lr and di will change there is dhoni now there are four players let me call it let me place a tabular chart dhoni dhoni will score runs in singles dhoni will score runs in fours dhoni will score runs in sixers and i will take the minimum score of dhoni minimum score of dhoni now if you listen carefully here look at the pie chart pie chart is singles is blue color blue color it is not there it is zero percentage dhoni is in the question it is given as 40 percentage in the question it is given as 60 percentage zero percentage 40 percentage and 60 percentage listen carefully listen carefully what do i mean by zero 40 percentage and 60 percentage the meaning of this cumulative bar graph is if dhoni score 100 runs if dhoni scores 100 runs if dhoni scores 100 runs 40 runs will come only in fours 40 runs will come only in fours and 60 runs will come only in sixers this is the meaning of the bar graph for dhoni if dhoni scores 100 runs 40 runs will come in only fours why only 40 runs because in the question it is given as 40 percentage and 60 runs will come only in sixers because it is given as 60 percentage or in other words or in other words if dhoni score 100 runs if dhoni score 100 runs he will score 40 runs and that too using only fours that means he will score 
if Dhoni scores 100 runs, he will score 10 fours because the 10 fours are 40. In how many ways can I score 40 runs using only fours? Answer is 10 into 4, 40. If Dhoni score 100 runs, in how many ways he can score 60 runs using only sixers? Answer is 10 sixers. Answer is 10 sixers. Listen carefully to every statement of mine. We will create more and more questions. So, by looking at the bar graph, if Dhoni scores 100 runs, how many fours he will score? 10 fours he will score. How many sixers he will score? 10 sixers he will score. If Dhoni scores 100 runs, he will score 10 fours. If the question is, if Dhoni scores 200 runs, if Dhoni scores 200 runs, 100 runs it is 10 fours. 200 runs will be 100 twos are 200 so 220 is are 40 so you will score 20 fours if Dhoni scores 300 runs how many fours he will score 30 fours he will score I hope first time explaining the bar graph of Dhoni Dhoni single C is 0 4 C is 40 percentage 6 C is 60 percentage what do I mean by 0, 40 and 60 percentage if Dhoni scores 100 runs 40 runs will come through 4s and 60 runs will come through 6ers 40 runs through 4 means 10 4s 60 runs through 6ers means there will be 10 6ers to score 100 runs Dhoni should score 10 4s if it is 200 runs, he should score 20 fours. If it is 300 runs, he should score 30 fours. I hope Dhoni's bar graph is very clear to you. I hope it is clear, right, sir? I hope it is clear. First case let, I will create another 5 to 10 questions from every case let so that you will understand how the reasoning case lets are created. Now, listen carefully. I hope it is clear, right? Next one. More than the questions which I solve in LR and DI, I want to tell you what is the root cause of the problem and if new questions are given, if new questions are given, how to solve it, that also, that also, how to solve, that also how to solve, we will see, now, see here, if what is the minimum runs scored by Dhoni, let us solve what is the minimum runs scored by Dhoni. Minimum runs is 40 and 60, right, try to minimize it. If I try to minimize it, how much it will become? So, 22s are 40, 23s are 60. Minimum is 0, 2 and 3. But Dhoni cannot score 3 runs using 6er. Can a person score 3 runs using 6er? It is not possible. So, 0, 2, 3 is not minimum. Take the next value. If I take the next value, 2, 2 is 4, 3, 2 is 6. Can he score 4 runs using 4? Yes. Can he score 6 runs using 6? Yes. So, what is the minimum runs scored by Dhoni in this match? Answer is it. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Dhoni, 0, 40 and 60, to get the minimum, optimize the value, 22s are 40, 23s are 60, 0, 2 and 3. So, can he score 2 runs using 4s? No. So, what is the minimum runs scored by Dhoni? It is the next multiple of 2 and 3, 0, 4 and 6. There is a beautiful meaning of this one. So, Dhoni will score runs 0, 4 and 6. That means, if I create an another question, can Dhoni score, can Dhoni score 32 runs in this match, can Dhoni score 32 runs in this match, what is the minimum score of Dhoni, minimum score of Dhoni is 10, minimum score of Dhoni is 10, minimum score of Dhoni is 10 means, in other words, very very simple language, Dhoni will always score runs in multiples of 10. Dhoni will always score runs. Dhoni will always score runs in multiples of 10. But what is 32? 32 is not a multiple of 10. 
Dhoni's minimum score is 10 means Dhoni will always score runs in multiples of 10. But according to the question, right, it is 32 runs. So can Dhoni score 32 runs in this match? No. So what will be the answer for this question? Not possible. Listen carefully to every question. Not possible. Can Dhoni score 32 runs in the match? Not possible. No questions. Case let 5 questions I will not solve. I will create more and more questions so that you will understand how the questions are developed. I hope the idea is clear. Right? Next. Minimum runs of Dhoni is 10. So if it is 10, similarly whatever we did it for Dhoni, the same thing can also be done for Sachin, Kohli and Sharma. Let us do one by one what will happen to others. Do it for Sachin. Sachin. Now if you see Sachin. Sachin what will be the answer? Now if you see I hope the idea is clear, right, sir? Sachin. Now, what we will do is, Sachin. Sachin also we will do. Sachin. Now, if I take, the question is like this, neatly we will solve. So, if I take this, Dhoni, singles, fours and sixers. Dhoni, it will be singles, fours and sixers and it is minimum. Minimum. So, we got 0, 4 and 6 which is 10. 0, 4 and 6 which is 10. Now, let us solve it for Sachin. See the bar graph, Sachin, Sachin, blue color denotes the singles which is 40 percentage, red color denotes the 4 which is 24 percentage, yellow color denotes the 6 which is 36 percentage, 40, 24, 36, what is the meaning of this? If Sachin scores 100 runs, how many singles he will score? 40. How many fours he will score? 6 fours. How many sixers he will score? 6 sixers. I hope it is clear. 40, 24 and 36. Whatever the questions that I created for Dhoni, the same questions can also be created for Sachin. So, question is a minimum value. Let us optimize it. By 100, by 100, by 100 eliminated. 220s are 40. 212s are 24, 218s are 36. If I further optimize, 210s are 20, 26 are 12, 29s are 18. Sachin cannot score 9 runs using sixers. Sachin cannot score 9 runs using sixers. So 10, 6, 9 is eliminated. So minimum score is 10, 12 and 18. So minimum score of Sachin is 50. Minimum score of Sachin is 50. I hope the idea is clear. Minimum score of Sachin is 50. That means Sachin will always score runs in multiples of 50. He cannot score any number other than a multiple of 50 according to this chart. Dhoni and Sachin. Who is the third character? Third character is Kohli. Do the same thing. Kohli will be 12.5 percentage. Next is 50 percentage and next is 75 percentage. I want the minimum value 12.5 ones are 12.5, 12.5 fours are 50, 12.3 threes are 75. Can Kohli score 3 runs using sixers? Not possible. Take the next multiple 286, 286. 286 is nothing but 16. That means Kohli will score runs in multiples of 16. 2, 8 and 6. He cannot score any runs other than multiple of multiple of 16. Again I am explaining Sachin is 40, 24, 36. Minimum score we want. Try to reduce the fraction. By 100, by 100, by 100 eliminated. 20, 12 and 18. 20, 12 and 18. If I further optimize it, 2 10s are, 2 6s are, 2 9s are. 
can Sachin score 9 runs using Sixers? He cannot score. So this case is eliminated. 20, 12 and 18, minimum score of Sachin is 50. Kohli, 12.5. 1s are 12.5, 4s are 12.5, 3s are 143. Next will be 286. 286 is 16. What is the what is the what is the question? In this question it is given the total score of the Indian team. The total score of the Indian team was the sum of scores of this batsman only. This batsman only. I think there is one more person, Sharma. Sharma, if we calculate, 25, 0, 75, so this is 103, next will become 206, so Sharma's score is, minimum score is 8, Sharma's minimum score is 8, Sharma's minimum score is 8, I hope it is clear, Dhoni's minimum score is 10, Sachin's minimum score is 50, Kohli's minimum score is 16. Sharma's minimum score is 8. What is the minimum score of the Indian cricket team? Minimum score of the Indian cricket team is the sum of the score of these four batsmen only. So, 20, 10 plus 50 is 60. 60 plus 16 is 76. 76 plus 8 is 84. What is the minimum score of India? Minimum score of India is 84. First, we will write down here. Minimum score of India. Minimum score of India is 84. Minimum score of India is 84 or it can score any runs greater than or equivalent to 84. In that 84 runs, Dhoni will score 10 runs. Sachin will score 50 runs. Kohli will score 16 runs. Sharma will score 8 runs. Sharma will score 8 runs. Sharma will score 8 runs. Right? So, 84. 25. It is 37.5 which is 12.5 1s are, 12.5 4s are, 12.5 3s are. Instead of 37.5, I took it as a 75 percentage, but the value remains the same. Please make a note of that correction. Now, 10, 50, 16, 8. Minimum score of India is 84. What is the first question? How much Sharma has scored in the match? How much Sharma has... Sharma has scored, right? Sharma has scored in the match. How much, what is the minimum score of Sharma? Minimum score of Sharma is 8. We know the minimum score of Sharma. We know the minimum score of Sharma. We know the minimum score of Sharma as 8. That means he will always score runs in multiples of 8. If the score of India is 84, Sharma will score 8. If the score of India is 84, minimum score of Sharma is 8. The score of India could be anything greater than 84. So, answer for the first question is, cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. Right? Cannot be determined uniquely. Right? I said it as 37.5 but I took it as 75 12.5 1s are 12.5 4s are 12.5 3s are rocking Raj for you how Sharma got 8 runs Sharma's minimum is 25 right 4 is 0 6 is 75 it is 103 Sharma cannot score 3 runs using 6 er so if I double it 206 206. What is the minimum score of Sharma? What is the minimum score of Sharma? It is 8. 10, 15, 16, 8. Answer for the first question is cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. Why? Because Sharma's score is dependent upon the score of India. I don't know the score of India. I know the minimum score of India. I know the minimum score of India. 
I know the minimum score of India. I hope it is clear, sir. First question answer is cannot be determined. Cannot be determined. Is it clear, sir? Next, second question. Second one. Now see here. Second question. Listen carefully. Second one. Read the question. Same thing. So, what could be the, re, read the question, what could be the minimum score and the maximum runs scored by Sachin in the match? Minimum and maximum runs scored by Sachin in this match. For Sachin, for Sachin, what, do, what did we get? Sachin, single C's, we got fours. So we got 20, 4 so we got it as 12, 6 so we got it as 18. What is the minimum runs scored by Sachin? Minimum runs scored by Sachin is 50. Minimum runs scored by Sachin, already we determined. Minimum runs scored by Sachin is 50. M maximum runs, maximum runs we cannot determine. Because it is dependent upon the score of Indian team. Maximum runs could be any multiple of 5 and it is dependent upon the score of Indian cricket team. Because the score of Indian cricket team is not known. Because the score of Indian cricket team is not known. Maximum runs for Sachin cannot be determined. Minimum runs. Minimum runs answer is 50. Maximum runs answer is cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. I hope it is clear. Right? I will tell you why we are taking a minimum score after some time. Just to hold on, sir. What could be the minimum runs scored by Sachin in the match? Minimum runs scored by Sachin here is 50. Maximum runs. To get the maximum runs of Sachin or any other player, we need to know the... Right? We need to know the score of Indian cricket team. Without knowing the exact score of Indian cricket team, we cannot say that this is the score of a player. Depending upon the Indian cricket team score, the score of players will change. Depending upon Indian cricket team. Right? Right? I hope it is clear. Maximum runs could be anything. It is dependent upon the score of Indian cricket team. Right? It is not dependent upon score of other three players. Answer is cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely for the simple reason exact score of Indian cricket team is not known. If exact score of Indian cricket team is known, make the other three values minimum. This will become maximum. You can determine such in maximum by making other three minimum only when the score of Indian cricket team is known to us. Score of Indian cricket team is not known to us and not known to us, so we cannot determine. Right? I hope it is clear. Second question. I hope it is clear. Minimum is 50, maximum runs cannot be determined uniquely. Next, third question. Third one. Read carefully this question, sir. We have taken a lot of time to develop some very, very good questions, right? So that you will think. And these are not direct problems. These are very, very logical problems. Question is, who scored highest runs in the match? Who scored highest runs in the match? Highest runs in the match. Again, now what I will do is, I will first show it here, sir. So that... Pavan, it will be very clear to you why it is not right depend other than minimum why it is dependent upon the score see here Dhoni, singles, fours and sixers 
listen carefully sir 0 4 and 6 so what is the minimum score we got 10 listen 10 next is Sachin Sachin will be Sachin will be 20 12 and 18 so the minimum score is 50 next is Kohli Kohli will be 2 8 6 which is 16 and Sharma will be Sharma will be 103 206 it is 8 so the minimum score is 84 now see here sir minimum score is 84 question is who scored highest in the match who scored highest in the match if the minimum if the score of Indian cricket team if the score of Indian cricket team is 84 Sachin scored highest Sachin scored highest and the highest runs is nothing but 50 highest is nothing but 50 now if you see here right highest is nothing but 60 suppose if the score is suppose if the score is 164 if the score of Indian cricket team is 164 right if the score of Indian cricket team is 164 164 this is 84 and this is 164 if it is 164 how much extra I require extra I require it as 80 extra I require it as 80 are you all with me right that 80 could be Dhoni will score only in multiples of 10 Sachin will score in multiples of 50 Kohli will score in multiples of 6 Sharma will score in multiples of 8 I want extra 80 that extra 80 can be obtained only for Dhoni so one case is 10 plus 80 is 90 so it is 50 this is 16 and it is 8 so what is 90 plus 50 140 140 plus 156 plus 8 164 now if you observe closely if the score of Indian team is 164 who scored highest in the match who scored highest in the match Dhoni scored highest in the match if the score of Indian team is 84 who scored highest in the match Sachin scored highest in the match it is 50 if it is 164 I got Dhoni as one of the probable cases that means if you observe depending upon the score of the Indian cricket team that person is scoring highest that means answer for this question is who scored highest in the match because exact score of Indian cricket team is not known because exact score of Indian cricket team is not known answer for this question will be answer for this question will be cannot be determined uniquely cannot be determined uniquely cannot be determined uniquely fantastic case let every case let I will spend about close to 15 to 20 minutes most of them are intermediate and advanced level students who are sitting there and just trying to solve the question today my classes are not going to happen like this they are all very very good case lets which involves thinking answer is cannot be determined uniquely I hope the idea is very clear right sir right now if I take 164 if I take 164 beta I took 164 rocking for example if I take 164 if I take 164 what is the score of Indian cricket team 84 for 84 to become 164 extra how much I should get 80 80 is a multiple of 10 so I can take 80 as a multiple of 10 so Dhoni will score another 80 this could be one possibility are you all with me or Sharma also could score another 80 because 80 is a multiple of 8 so 80 16 right 50 what is 80 plus 16 96 140 you can also take 80 contributed here are you all with me sir 
right? 80 contributed here. So, not only Sachin, it could be Dhoni or it could be someone else depending upon the various cases. Rocking, I hope it is clear. I hope it could be Kohli also, 16 fives are 80, it could be Sharma also, it could be 8 into 10, it could be Dhoni also, it could be 10 into 8, it could be anyone right other than Sachin. I am trying to tell you that other than Sachin there could be some more value, therefore it is cannot be determined. I hope it is clear, answer for this question is cannot be determined uniquely cannot be determined uniquely. Fantastic question, sir. Next question. Next question. Answer is cannot be determined uniquely. Next one. See the next one, sir. One minute. Let me draft the question. Another question. See here. Same thing. If Dhoni is first, we will read the question. If Dhoni's strike rate is 0.8, if Dhoni's strike rate is 0.8, what is the minimum number of balls that Dhoni faced? Now, in this question, strike rate is not given. First, I will define strike rate. Strike rate is nothing but number of runs scored. Strike rate is nothing but number of runs scored by number of balls faced. Number of runs scored by number of balls faced. This is the definition of strike rate and the strike rate definition should be given in the question. Not everybody who is preparing for CAT has allowed towards cricket, right? So, strike rate definition should be clearly be mentioned. Strike rate is number of runs scored by number of balls faced. What is the question? What is the minimum number of balls? What is the minimum number of balls that Dhoni faced? So, number of balls faced will be, number of balls faced will be, number of runs scored, number of runs scored by strike rate. What is the question? Number of balls faced will be minimum. Denominator is nothing but number of runs scored by 0.8 is 4 by 5. Right? Denominator is constant. If this is minimum, number of runs scored will also be minimum. Number of runs scored will also be minimum. Number of runs scored will also be minimum. What is the minimum number of runs scored by Dhoni? What is the minimum number of runs scored by Dhoni? We have taken it as, right, those of you who have listened to my first few minutes, this is 40, 0, 60. So, this is 4 is to 6. So, minimum runs is 10. Minimum runs scored by Dhoni is 10. So, if I take 10, so 10 divided by 4 by 5. 10 divided by 4 by 5 is 50 by 4, which is 12.5. Number of balls faced. Number of balls faced will not be in decimal. Number of balls faced will not be in decimal. So, number of runs scored minimum, I will not take it as 10. What is the next multiple of 10? 20. 20 by 4 by 5. This is nothing but 100 by 4, 100 by 4. Answer for this question is 25. Even though the minimum run, number of runs scored by Dhoni is 10, Dhoni is 10, but if I take 10, I am getting number of balls faced as 12.5. Number of balls faced as 12.5. Number of balls faced number of balls faced is nothing but cannot be in decimal number of balls faced by any batsman will be an integer so i took the next multiple of 10 20 20 by 4 by 5 is 100 by 4 answer is 25 answer is 25 i hope it is clear right sir answer is 25 trust me sir 
today the class from 3 to 5 and night 9.30 to 11.30, students who love reasoning based problems, students actually who are not able to solve good number of problems in LRDI section of CAT, probably I will give a direction in today's class, how you should think, how the questions are developed, all these questions. I hope this question is clear. This question is clear. Minimum number of balls faced will be 25. Right? Now, let us go to the next question. Next question. I hope it is clear. One, one question. Beautiful class, sir. This will be, today's class will be one of the best classes. Right? Out of all the classes which are have taken in terms of LR and DA, sir. Now, see here. Next one. Read the question. Some student asked me why I took minimum, right? And we have taken close to about 6 to 8 hours in preparing these wonderful caselets for the good of students, right? Now see. Question. If England scored, if England scored 83 for the loss of 6 wickets, if England scored 83 for the loss of 6 wickets, In India, in reply to India's total after allotted 20 overs, which country won the match? And we will create one more question. By what margin? By what margin? Listen carefully, sir. England scored. England scored 83 for the loss of six wickets. England scored 83 for the loss of 6 wickets. In the first question we discussed, what is the minimum score of India? Minimum score of India is, minimum score of India is 84. Those of you who missed out the first thing, minimum score of Dhoni, I got it as a 10. Sachin, I got it as a 50. Kohli, I got it as 16. And Sharma, I got it as 8. So, it is given in the question, the total score of the Indian team was the sum of the scores of this batsman only. So, what is the minimum score of India? Minimum score of India is the sum of the scores of these four batsmen. Now, if you see here, Minimum score of India is 84. How much in England scored? England scored 83 for the loss of 6 wickets. Who won the match? India won the match. India won the match by minimum 1 run. India won the match by minimum 1 run. India won the match by minimum one run. Especially the students who are preparing for CAT, this kind of caselets are coming very frequently in the last three to four years. Calculation based DEI, the level of questions have decreased very much in CAT and non-CAT based exam. India won the match by minimum one run. India won the match by minimum one run. I hope it is clear, right? England score is 83 for the loss of 6 wickets and minimum score of India is 84. Minimum score of India is 84. England scored 83 for the loss of 6 wickets. India won the match by minimum. India won the match by minimum 1 run. All the caselets, especially bank exams, DI caselets are also coming very difficult. Do not miss any of the problem which I am discussing in case if you are a serious and a sincere competitive exam aspirant. I hope it is clear. One more question. One more question. One more question. One more question. Listen carefully. One more question. Let me draft the question. Now, read the question, sir. If the total... 
it is given in the question mbr rocking raj how england score came it is given in the question that england score is 83 if the score of england is 83 for the loss of 6 wickets it is given in the question now next question if the total runs if the total runs scored by india was 150 who has hit the maximum number of sixers now before we solve the question let us solve an another easy question if the total score of india was 108 who has hit the maximum number of fours please write this question then we will solve that question if the total runs scored by india was 108 who has hit the maximum number of fours i want everyone to listen carefully to this question sir there are four people one is dhoni another is sachin another is kohli another is sharma dhoni sachin kohli and sharma singles fours let us go back to our table singles fours and sixers so it is 406 next it is 20 1218 next it is 286 this is what we discussed next it is 206 so minimum runs minimum runs scored by all these people are 10 50 16 and 8 this is 84 through minimum score only we can solve all these questions easily once you understand 108 150 you can solve it orally now see here if the total runs scored by india was 108 this is 108 this is 84 minimum score is 84 minimum score is 84 required score is required score is 108 this is the minimum score is 84 how much extra i require extra i require 24 extra i require 24 that 24 runs extra is contributed by dhoni sachin kohli and sharma dhoni will always score runs in multiples of 10 so 24 will not come sachin's minimum score is 50 right so 24 is less than 50 so what we will do is kohli can score another 16 sharma can score another 8 16 plus 8 is 24 so this is 10 this is 50 this is 32 this is 16 so this is 108 this is one possibility in 10 runs now listen carefully in 10 runs there is one four is there in 50 runs there are 12 runs using fours there are three fours are there in 16 runs there are two fours are there so in 32 runs there will be four fours in 6 eight runs zero fours are there so it is zero these are minimum runs scored in terms of fours this is one possibility another possibility you can actually do it as i want 24 right 10 is not a factor of 24 50 is not a factor of 24 16 is not a factor of 24 24 can come only from 8 runs so if it come for only from 8 runs this is 10 this is 50 so this is 32 and next is 60 this is an another case possibility 24 runs is here that 24 runs can come through a combination of 16 and 8 or through a only combination of 8 now if you see 10 50 16 and 32 this total score is also 108 what is the question question is if it is 108 who has hit the maximum number of fours 10 there will be one four 50 there will be three fours 16 16 there will be two fours so it is 2 32 32 16 there will be no fours so it is zero that means if i take this case one if i take this case one who has hit the maximum number of fours 
one is case one is giving you coli if i take case two case two who has hit the maximum number of force maximum number of force is coming from 50 50 is sachin 50 is sachin that means if the total score of india was 108 who scored maximum number of force answer will be kohli or sachin answer will be kohli or sachin i hope it is clear kohli or sachin so it could be if answer option contains kohli or sachin you tick mark it if it there are only single people names answer is cannot be determined right sorry sir here it is zero here it is zero right single i took it as force nagarjuna you are right nagarjuna you are right so it is single four singles and six ones it is zero these are not one sir these are ten and zero i hope it is clear right sir idea is clear idea is clear this is for 108 now let us solve our original question let us solve our original question i hope it is clear right now once you understand the questions next questions are very very easy now let us solve our question now if you solve our question let us see this is our original question if the total run scored by india was 150 who has hit the maximum number of success so dhoni dhoni again we will solve we will not get the answer we will just see the approach so single will be four force will be zeros six will be six minimum will be ten sachin will be sachin is nothing but 20 12 and 18 this will be 50 Kohli will be 286 which is 16 Sharma will be 206 which is 8 84 now I will not solve the question minimum score I will just give you the approach minimum score is 84 required score is required 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 i think this is zero this is four am i right zero four and six sorry sir in hurry this is the problem with the di if you are not looking at the question so i think no sir you are all are right i am right wrong it is 0 4 and 6 i hope you have understood the approach right approach clear right do not need to worry minimum score is 84 required score required score is 150 150 so 84 you are all right right 150 extra is 66 extra is 66 just i am writing cases here you can do it later 50 plus 16 one case next one like that multiple cases will happen 50 plus 2 into 8 is 16 case number 3 5 into 10 plus 16 case number 4 like that do as many cases as possible 5 into 10 plus 2 into 8 case number 5 8 into 5 plus 10 plus 2 into 8 do not worry about any calculation mistake i am more interested in giving you conceptual clarity i hope you got the conceptual clarity don't worry about the calculation you can do it later you can do it later i took the red color portion as singles but it is 0 4 and 6 in the previous question i took it as 0 but actually it is 1 right so take all the cases if this question is given to your exam kindly avoid this question because it involves too many cases it involves too many cases i hope the idea is very clear idea is clear sir single caselet we have discussed in detail how many runs a 
player can score, what is the minimum score, what is the maximum score. If the total runs scored by a India is given how to find the minimum number, how to find out the person who has scored minimum number of fours, maximum number of sixers, minimum number of sixers, maximum number of fours. I hope it is clear, right? This entire case let, I hope it is clear. Clear, right? Now, next one. All today's class, entire question will be very logical, sir. Read the question once. Read the question once. Once you read the question, then all the problems you can solve it very, very easily. This question is based on, this question is based on bar graph. This question is based on bar graph. This question is based on bar graph. So, you need to know the fractions, 33.33 .33 is 1 by 3, 16.67 is 1 by 6, 22.22 is 2 by 9, 27.27 is 5 by 18. If you are not comfortable in frac percentage to fractions, this problem might be very, very difficult for you. Might be very, very difficult for you. Read the question once. There are three players, A, B and C. They are playing with a fair die which has the numbers 1 to 6 marked on its 6 faces. Turn by turn, each one of them roll the die once and note down the outcome obtained. At the end of first three rollings, at the end of first three rolling, a cycle gets completed. Okay. So what is a cycle score? Cycle score is defined as sum of the three outcomes obtained in that score. The cycle score is expressed as a percentage of maximum possible cycle score. So first cycle, listen carefully. First cycle, first cycle is nothing but 33.33 33 percentage of the maximum score. So when you are rolling a die, what is the maximum value that can happen on the die? 6. So 3 people are rolling. First one can be maximum 6, second one can be maximum 6, third one can be maximum 6. So maximum score is 18. This is 1 by 3 into 18. 1 by 3 into 18 is 6. So the first cycle, the first cycle value is 6. That cycle First cycle can be obtained like this, A1, B1 and C4 are the combinations are A2 and B2 and C2. This is also a combination are A2, B1 and C3 are it the combination. To get 6, this could be any of these case possibilities. This any of the case possibilities. I hope it is clear. Right, it is given as a maximum possible cycle score. Maximum is 6 plus 6 plus 6. First cycle, it is clear, right, sir? First cycle, it could be 114, it could be 222, it could be 213, or it's a combinations. Similarly, let us do the others. Other C is it is a second cycle. What is a second cycle? Second cycle is. 27.27 percentage of total maximum possible score is 18. So this is 5 by 18 into 18. 5 by 18 into 18 is 5. 5 means what are all the cases possible? Cases means first one, second one, third three. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. What is the next case? 1, 2, 2. 1, 2, 2. 4 plus 1 is also 5. Are you with me, sir? First cycle over, second cycle over, next to third cycle. Third cycle. Third cycle, what is the percentage given in the question? Third cycle is 22.22 percentage. 22.22 percentage of 18. It is 2 by 9 of 18. 2 by 9 of 18 is 4. 4 mil. 
it is nothing but first one, second one, third two. One, one, two. One, one, two. Third cycle. Last cycle. Last cycle. Once you understand all these questions are very easy. Fourth cycle. What is the fourth cycle percentage? 16.67. 16.67 percentage of 18. 16.67 is 1 by 6 into 18. 1 by 6 into 18 is 3. 3 is nothing but 1, 1, 1. 3 is nothing but 1, 1, 1. I hope it is clear, right, sir? 1, 1, 1. Now, once you understand this, once you understand this, now you can solve the question very, very easily. It is very, very easy to solve. Now, see here, first question. Which of the following outcome could have never have been obtained by A in any of the four cycles? In any out of the four cycles, A would not have got which number? A would have got one here. A would have got two here. A would have got 3 here, A would have got 4 here. Here also, 1 is possible, 3 is possible, 2 is possible. 1 is possible, 2 is possible. 1 is possible. 1 possible, 2 possible, 3 possible and 4 is possible. So, which of the value A could never have obtained? Answer is none of this. 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 Nikhil, 27.27, it is, see, it is a di beta. Di means denominator should be, right? 1 by 9 is 11.11. 1, 1. 1 by 18 is 5.55. 5 by 18 is 27.27. 27. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Denominator, rounding off, right, it is a die. So, denominator should be, definitely it should be an right multiple of 6. First cycle, 114, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 3. 1 possible, 2 possible, 3 possible, 4 possible, right? Second cycle, third cycle. So, what is the answer for the first question? Answer for the first question is none of this. 1, 2, 3, 4. All are possible. I hope it is clear, right, sir? Idea is clear? Idea clear, right? Second question. First one over. Second question. Second one. Once you understand this entire case let, you can solve it very very fast. Read the question. First thing we have to write down here sir. To get A. So 116, 114, 222, 123. These for the first cycle. Second cycle. 113. 5 by 18 into 18. 1, 2, 2. Third cycle. 4. 1, 1, 2. That's all. What is the question? In the third cycle. Okay. In the third cycle. What percentage of cycle score was contributed by the outcome of B? Outcome of B, if it is 1, 1 out of 4, which is 25 percentage. Second, if B is 2, 2 out of 4, it is 50 percentage. So, it could be 25 or it could be 50. It could be 25 or it could be 50. So, answer is cannot be determined. Answer is cannot be determined. It could be any out of 25 Nitish, I already explained to you, it is a die 
when you roll three dice you will not get an integer so rounding off to nearest value right rounding off to nearest value i hope it is clear right sir or in case if you are so think replace the question to 27.77 right i already explained rounding off to nearest value i hope it is clear right sir next one next question next one very very different variety of questions see here nitesh it is rounding off beta read the question first read the question sir it is given that a particular pair of it is given that a particular pair of two players obtained the same outcome in each of the four cycles in each of the four cycles what is the first cycle value first cycle value is 6 6 is nothing but 114 next is 222 next is 123 second cycle value is 5 by 18 into 15 5 113 and the next is 122 122 what is the third cycle value third cycle is 2 by 9 into 18 4 112 what is the next only thing what is the fourth cycle fourth cycle is 3 it is 111 read the question what is the question it is given that a particular pair of two players obtained the same outcome in each of the four cycles in each of the four cycles there are two players who has got the same outcome in each of the four cycles there are two players who has got the same outcome one one here one one here one one here one one here you might say that anil sir i will take two 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 in the first cycle two two in the second cycle third cycle two two is not possible so what is the question two players obtained the same outcome in all the four cycles so it will be one one four one one four next is one one three and next is one one two and next is one 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 what is the question here which of the what was the outcome obtained by third player in the second cycle what is the third player in the second cycle what is the answer three what is the answer three i hope it is clear right sir very very easy question if you know how to convert these percentage into fractions percentage into fractions if you know it it is a very very easy question very very easy question to solve if you know how to convert percentage into fraction i hope it is clear right sir